What's up everyone, Customize Apple here, and today I'll be doing a review on Colorroid Theme. Now here we are on the Colorroid Theme lock screen. And as you can see right here up at the top, you can see two different pictures, which is your lock screen picture and your um, springboard picture. You see it says device and locked. And you can see right here that says right under it, Marnes Ferry, 89 degrees, which is my city and temperature. And you can see right there it has a 24-hour clock, of the big one, 1537, which is apparently 337. Friday the 3rd, August, fair, all that good stuff. You can see the camera icon is themed. And we do have a custom little lock thing right here. And you would think it's attached to law unlock, but it's not. You still have to slide just a little bit, though. And you can see right here on the springboard, it is very, very nice. You can see the custom icons. A lot of them are themed. We'll go ahead and go into a folder to show you the folder enhancer. I love the, what the folders look like. You see right here, and by the way, this is the green mod of this theme. There's a lot of mods to go with it, and it all comes in the same package. There's like red, orange, green, blue, black, or something. I don't know. There's a lot. But this is the green one. And you see, well, before I go any further, you could, I, you would think you could use Theme Icon Maker on these, but you really can't. So, I can still leave a link to Theme Icon Maker in the description. It just basically themes the icons that weren't themed when the developer released it. And we'll go ahead and show you the app switcher. You see the app switcher is very nice. You can see the custom um, music toggles right there. The custom music icon. The custom lock orientation right here. And we'll go ahead and scroll over here. You can see the custom music toggle and that nylon cat is from a different tweak. And this theme has no SB settings, so you have to get one out of Cydia somewhere. And I'll go ahead and show you some of the apps. We'll start out here with the App Store. You can see this is the custom loading screen for everything, which I thought was pretty cool. But well, guys, this theme is really, it's really different per se, as you can already tell. Go ahead and wait for this to load up. There is no um, loading animation. You see right there is just a regular one. Actually, we'll go into top 25. I don't know what I'm doing. Now we'll go ahead and wait for this one to load up. And you can see that I do not think that the icons are themed, but you can see that little green arrow off to the right. We'll go ahead and go into calculator next. Kind of like that loading screen. And the calculator is very nicely themed, as you can tell. You'll get this kind of four screen highlight whenever you touch it. Go ahead and get out of there. We'll go into clock next. And we'll start at row clock. You can see that clock is very nicely themed with the green squares. You see the background has the little photos they look like. I don't even know what that is. But it's cool. We'll go into alarm, stopwatch, and timer. Go ahead and click out of there. And I'll go ahead and show you the custom color keyboard for this. And again, there's a color keyboard with every one of the themes. And here's the green one. This is the green one. We'll go ahead and show you the pop ups. Well, I just chose the green pop-ups. It doesn't come with pop-ups, so I just chose the green ones. Go ahead and click done and click out of that. We'll go into settings next. And settings takes like the longest to load every time, so go ahead and wait for this to load up. And you can see going down the side, none of the apps are seen, but it does have that little green arrow off to the right. Go ahead and go into weather. And in a minute I can actually show you what the mods are in O. Oh. oh. Whoa, that's nice. You can see right there up at the top it says daytime and you can see that all of the thing is themed. It's green. 
You see the little photos going down the middle. That's cool. Go ahead and drop down the menu. You can see that is themed also. Wow, I would get this themed just for the weather. And I'll go ahead and show you how to set the um, the lock screen weather widget. We'll go ahead and wait for this to load up. And iFile is $4 in the Big Boss repo, and it is the easiest way to set all your weather widgets. And there it goes. Little longer. Little longer. Okay, and you want to scroll down until you see Coloroid, and you want to choose which theme you have enabled. And here's all the ones that it has, by the way. It has blue, green, orange, pink, and red. So I have the green one enabled, so I'll go into green. And then you want to... Wait, actually guys, I need to go all the way back so I can show all you beginners. You start out right here, and you want to scroll down until you see VAR, V-A-R. And click on that. Scroll down until you see Stash, S-T-A-S-H. Scroll down until you see Themes, right here. And now you want to do this. You want to go into whatever color you have enabled. For me, it's green. For you, it's whatever the heck you have enabled. Then you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see lock background.html. Click on that. And now you got to wait for that to load up. And whenever it loads up, you want to click text viewer. And this one's taking a while. Okay, click text viewer. And now this one is, this one's hard to set. I don't have to explain this one. You want to search for var locale right there. And you want to click the edit up at the top left. And you'll see this little um, quotation mark with these letters and numbers in it. So what you want to do is you want to go to weather.com. You want to search for your city or zip code or whatever in that little box. And then up at the top in your address bar, up at the very end, you'll see four letters and four digits. You want to um, copy that and paste it right into here. Into Hold on. I'll go ahead and select it right here. You want to leave the quotation marks and paste it there. If you have any trouble, go ahead and contact me and I'll send you your weather code. But that's how you do that. And actually what you want to do is, this one comes in as, um, actually comes in as Celsius, so you want to change this var is Celsius to false, because I'm guessing most of you do not want Celsius. And then you want to click save. Done. Then you want to go ahead and click out of there. You want to slide the top of it and click that little respring button. Again, this was Coloroid theme in the Mon My I repo. For a dollar forty nine. Yes, it is actually that low. Thank you all for watching. That's all for this review. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, and check out my blog. As always, I'll catch you all in the next one. This is Customize Apple, signing out.